hello friends let's talk about the ui design principle number two in today's video so today let's explore the white space in ui design and the importance of white space from the ui design principle standpoint to start with whenever a ui designer starts creating his design obviously he starts creating with the blank canvas whether you design a website or a mobile app you start always with a blank canvas right then you add the components elements based on the finalized wireframes such as images buttons drop downs menus so while placing all these elements we need to make sure that your page doesn't look cluttered so we need to make sure as a designers that we provide ample white space into all page elements from top to bottom. What is white space in UI design? So you must have also heard the term negative space. It is the same thing. Negative space is also termed as white space. It is an empty space around the content, your text and functional elements of page like buttons, header, footer, etc. The basic role of white space or negative space is to make sure your design have the ample amount of breathing space between the text and the UI elements that users can see. So white space doesn't mean that your design should have a white background. So it can be in any background, any color in your design, any type of space that serves as a background for the content you're creating can be considered as a white space or a negative space. What are the two elements of white space in UI design? One is the line spacing and letter spacing in the text. And the second one is the margins and paddings around UI elements such as buttons, etc. So now let's explore the four best practices of white space design with examples. So we need to make sure that our text is always readable for the users. As per the best practices, the majority of information around the web, what we see is in content form or in written form. So obviously it's very important to design in a way that it makes easier for the users to read your content. White space can enhance readability by making it easier to follow content and see the elements on the page clearly. It makes easier for the user to read. And when you try to do the opposite way, don't have much space, the vertical space or the horizontal space in the text, then it becomes very difficult for the users to read your text. So in this example, if you see the first one, the line spacing between the text vertically, even the horizontally is too tight. It makes very difficult for the user to read your content. And in the second one, that's the decent amount of space that you should maintain and it's much easier than the first one the third one there's too much gap between the vertical space if you see that even better for the user now you need to decide between the second and third one which one to use based on your user groups the second one is the proximity i have covered in detail about the proximity as a design principle number one in my last video you can see the youtube link in the description below so the law of proximity is one of the basic gestalt principles. It states that any object located near each other, it appears to be similar or part of that particular element. So you can see in this example, how the form is laid down. Personal information is segregated into one section. Educational information is segregated into one section. All the fields related to educational information is segregated into one section. And the third one is the focal point or what is the important element that you want your users to see the first. The more we add white space near a particular object, the more attention it receives from users. The fourth one is creating a visual hierarchy. Even I have covered the detail of visual hierarchy in my previous videos. You can find the links in the description below. So users at the first glance scan your page instead of reading each, each content you first scan your page. In that scenario, your design should have a very good visual hierarchy that makes it easier for the user to scan it and perceive your data. To conclude, you should never think that keeping the white space, we are wasting that space or we should we can accommodate more elements into that particular area. No. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel and press the like button and if you have any comments, please share your comments below.